What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is day two of the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday we're going through uh, the Four Agreements. It is a life-changing book that I read um, when I was really young and I really do believe it is the foundation to leading as you know a joyful truthful life because these agreements if you can make them early on or even if you're a late bloomer with these agreements um, it will change your life they really are true at least I believe so so hi everyone my name is Jamie I'm the J&J &J loves where I share all the things that I love because if I love it maybe you'll love it too and of course sharing is caring and this is my beautiful daughter Natalie who is so excited to be in this video <laughs> well yesterday the the first agreement was do you remember <laughs> no <laughs> I'm trying to blank too you know what's so funny is when you're on camera like sometimes the words like just escape I just forgot the word before um not immaculate oh right 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 be impeccable with your word. So that's what yesterday was for. Today, the second agreement is on don't take anything personally. And this is really, really, really important. Um, the first one is true because it gives the right energy, you know, when you're being impeccable with your word, especially to yourself. You know, not saying things like, I can't do it, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 blah. Like, don't do that. Like, be impeccable with your word. Like, if you have to learn something, okay, learn something, but don't be hard on yourself and just be, you know, super impeccable. Everything you say is completely with integrity, truth, honesty, love, support, care, you know, and like Natalie said, don't use your words for poison if, if you can help it. <laughs> So don't take anything personally. Like, well, he said don't at all. I'm not gonna take what she just, how she just said that personally. I know that this is just her. <laughs> but do you have any examples, or what do, what do you think this means to you? Don't take things personally. I don't. <laughs> do you ever have you ever taken anything personally? I guess but nobody, nobody's ever said. It's hard to take things personally, but like, without making an assumption. Yes. So tomorrow, That's the, why I don't know what to the say. third the agreement thing. is to not make assumptions. So we'll go into that. So, in terms of don't take anything personally, it's basically like, if whatever somebody does or says or acts or whatever they do, it literally has absolutely nothing to do with us. You know, it's 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 our ego that thinks that somebody is doing something to us, or they are purposely trying to destroy us, or or whatever, or that we can make them love us, or you know, how dare they do that to us because we've given so much? Like we literally take it personally. The truth is that people are gonna do what they're gonna do because that's what they want to do, and honestly, people are so wrapped up into their own life and their own world, whatever that, that means, that they're rarely ever thinking about someone else, right? So whether somebody is coming across, you know, challenging or rude or mean, you know, it's, that's just how they are. That's just what they are going to do. You know, it has nothing to do with you. They're being mean to you. No, they're just being mean. They're just that's just who they are. And the other side to that is also that if they're a nice person, right, they do nice things, you know, don't let our egos get in the way where, wow, it must be me. They must be so enamored by me that they're, you know, doing these nice things to me, for me. They must really love me. They must really care. And, it, you know, truth be told, if they're doing something nice and kind and loving, they're probably just kind and nice and loving and it really is just how they're behaving and what they're doing um so yeah so that's basically it and if you can go around your if you can go in life understanding that thing then you really will lead a happier 
better life because you'll know that in your hearts that nothing is being done to you. It's very, very rare that somebody is plotting against you and thinking about you and trying to make you miserable or trying to do this or trying to do that. They're literally just living their lives. They're behaving the way they want to behave. They're making the choices that they're making. And you're just a part of that if you so decide, right? So that's all. And I would say, let me see if there's another, is there another example that, or anything else that we can say about this topic? Probably the driving example. Oh yeah, like to go with the driving, which I cannot <laughs> wait to do the road rage one because I've been wanting to do that for a long time. But you know, when you're, okay, so, so as an example, if you're driving and somebody cuts you off, right? A lot of times people will get really, really upset. Like, oh my God, like what is their problem? Why would they cut me off like that? Like I'm just driving along, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, they, well, it, we'll get into like, don't make assumptions right tomorrow, but Literally, they're not a bad, they're not cutting you off because of you. Maybe they cut off because they're not that good of a driver or maybe they didn't see you or or whatever. And and trust me, I know that that's a, a blurry line because there are times when we get in on the road where somebody gets upset and they're literally, they've gotten upset with you and so they're literally purposely cutting you off and like slamming on their brakes. But even in that scenario right now, you said it's not that they're doing it to you. Yes, they're doing a behavior that is causing something, but that's just who they are, right? It's not they're doing it to you, which they, it is, you're getting their... They're not doing it because of who you are. They're doing it because they decided that that's what they want to do to you. Exactly. That's not what they do. They do to whoever it is. Exactly. They would do that to anyone. Um, and so, yeah. And, you know, and when you know this, then even though some things may come across hurtful, you know, or things that we don't like or don't care for or we don't want in our lives we can at least separate and say, okay, this is something that I don't want in my life or I don't care for. Um, and then you can make the decision of what you're going to do or how you're going to respond to that, right? But at least you've cut out any of that other negativity of like, oh my God, oh, they, oh, they hurt so bad. How did they do this to me? Like, no, all of that is gone. You just look at it like, okay, that's how they chose to do what they were going to do. And now how do I respond, you know? So, yeah, um, I wonder if there's like a love situation. Um, I guess it's, it's the same thing. Like if somebody, you know, like if you've loved someone for a certain amount of time and they've hurt you by maybe de deception or something like that, again, as much as it is so personal to you, it's not that they did this to you, right? They would probably do it to anyone. Um, it has nothing to do with you and whatever they decided to do in their behaviors is just what they decided to do. And I know when I've gotten sad about something or a relationship or even with the relationship or the job or whatever it is, you know, when I've gotten sad about it, it wasn't so much sad that they did this to me, like, oh, to me, how could you do it to me? I was just more sad that they were that type of person or they were that type of company, that they made these actions. Like, it just kind of, you know, it was a little saddening to know that that was the decisions that they chose and that kind of, like, felt a little upsetting, but I also just took it as a lesson and then took the responsibility of how I was going to respond. So... Yeah, so don't take anything personally um, is number two, and it's very true. Let us know in the comments, like, how well do you do with this? Have you taken things personally before? You know, can, does this sit well with you, or do you think, like, no, nah, this is BS, I'm taking it personally? <laughs> um, you know, let us know, and then tomorrow, come back if you want um, for agreement number three which is really 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 strong really important and it is literally oh my gosh it's it's super important and it's to not make assumptions so first one be impeccable with your word number two don't take anything personally all right love you guys thank you natalie for joining again and we will see her tomorrow won't we natalie <laughs> mm -hmm.